Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how we can solve our hard drive is full, but no files or data that you've created is on the PC at all. So here we have a hard drive that is nearly full, as you can see here. Now, this is a brand new, fresh install of Windows 10. I turned the PC on this morning and lo and behold, we have a full hard drive full of data. So I'm not sure what's happened to the actual drive itself. And I thought I'd make a quick video trying to work out what is actually happened to the system. So I've run a quick optimized drives on the C drive because that is the drive with the problem. It's a one terabyte NVMe drive. It's a brand new drive and there shouldn't be all of that data stored on the drive. I'm not sure how it's ended up on there or why it's on there, but it's quite a lot of data and I haven't been storing data on my C drive unless I've copied some stuff over to my C drive by accident. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show hidden files, folders and drives here. Now I'm going to look in the temp area uh, because sometimes files do get put in there, but it would have to be a lot of files to fill up the drive of this magnitude. So let's go into my user account here. Mine is named me, but yours will be whatever yours is. So go into your user account and then we need to go into app data. It'd be this little translucent folder on your uh, machine here. You will need to show hidden files, folders and drives to make that visible, how I showed you. So get that done and then you should be able to go into app data. So inside here, we've got three folders. I'm going to go into local here. Now, how do I know where to look, where the file is going to be? Because I used a program called tree size and I cheated a little bit and I knew that the file was in here, but I just wanted to show you and I'll show you tree size in a second. So inside here, We've got a bunch of uh, folders in here and there's a folder called temp and I went into this temp folder. So let me go ahead and go down to uh, the temp folder here. So I'm just going through here and just showing you that all of the folders don't have any data in them, oddly, not enough to fill up a drive. But as soon as I hover over the temp folder, you'll see there is a massive amount of data stored in there. Why it's in there, I really don't know, but it's 108 gigabytes in size, which is quite a large file or files. In this case, it's just one file. Now, what would create that file of that size? I do not know. It's made of gobbledygook, as you can see here, loads of different types of text in there. I don't know what it is, but it's a massive file and I don't want it on my system. It's in the temp area, which means it's probably just a junk file, but why would it create a junk file with a name like that, with the size of that file? I really don't know. But again, I'm not gonna delete this file uh, manually. I want to shred this file because I don't know what it is. And what with it being a fresh install, it really does uh, sort of make me wonder what it is because there's no information here that tells me what the file is. So if anyone's got any ideas, let me know in the comments section below and I'll be interested to read your comments to find out what you think this file is because I have no clue. So let me open up tree size here and show you how I found the actual file. You open up tree size and it gives you a load of information about where files are stored on your PC, especially if you're running out of this space. And you can see here, it just basically tells me it's in this location here. When you hover over it, it tells you there's a large amount of data in that folder. So it wasn't very difficult to, to track it down to find where that data was stored. You can see it's telling me it's in the local folder and inside the temp folder, you can see it's 809 uh, gigabytes or 809.8 gigabytes um, in size, which is quite a lot of data. So what it is, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to remove this. So let me show you what I'm going to remove it with. I'm going to basically remove this with bleach bit. So once we've got bleach bit open, I'm going to go up to the folder icon in the top left hand corner and I'm going to shred folders. You can select shred files or folders. You can do whatever you like here. So I'm going to select shred folders and go in here. And what I'm going to do is navigate to that particular folder on the computer. And you just have to use the little browse your files and folders and just go to that location. You can see it here, temp going to highlight this one and click OK. And it's saying, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? I'm going to say yes. And this does take a long time. So be patient because this is an 800 odd gigabyte size file. So it's going to take a long time to shred. 
that particular type of file. So bear that in mind. Um, so be patient and let it do its thing. Then it may sort of freeze for a little while and you may think it's not working. Just leave it and eventually it will come up and say it's shredded that uh, file. Now there might be some in there that it can't shred and that's because you might be using something at the time in that folder that is being used and it won't be able to shred those. So you can see here the file has now been removed. So I can now close off uh, this here. And uh, if we go back in here and have a quick look, you can see the file was now gone, which is good. I can delete this other stuff if I want to, but it's mainly that large file. So if we go back to our this PC and you can see here, it is now back to where it was. And that's how it was when I turned it off in the nighttime. And then all of a sudden there was a massive big file in there. So I don't know how it got there or what it was or what it, what it um, did to get that file in there. I'll be intrigued to find out, but it's gone now. So it's an 809 gigabyte file, which is an absolute massive amount of data to be on your PC. And I think I'm just going to completely wipe the system again, just to make sure. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Get out there and enjoy the weather. Bye for now.